Do you know that one mistake that every amateur striker struggles with during the games? The mistake that every striker struggles with is almost never mentioned and we will talk about that shortly. As a striker, for the most part, you'll be alone and you will be bored. And in my opinion, this is exactly what makes this position incredibly challenging. Well, yeah, you gotta score, you gotta provide for your team and all that. But most importantly, your off the ball runs as a striker is incredibly important. Probably more important than you actually scoring. You running off the ball and you shoving off the spaces to actually move the opposition is incredibly important and it's the key to your success if you wanna be a good striker. Because other than scoring, of course, your goal as a striker should be moving the opposition, moving the opposition's defenders to spaces where you create chances and create gaps for your other teammates to receive the ball. And if you don't know how to do this, and if you only score goals, just a little bit of a goals, I don't think you're gonna be a professional striker and I think you're just gonna be an average striker. Because you won't always get to turn with the ball, you won't always get the chances and sometimes you'll even touch the ball barely during the game. So you're gonna have to learn to release and learn to make those proper runs to actually get yourself into dangerous spaces without the ball to actually have a chance to score in the first place. And if you can do this better, even if you're scoring goals right now, trust me, you're gonna score more goals. Which is exactly why my common mistake comes into play, where you're gonna make this mistake. If you want to be a successful striker, you're gonna learn to deal with this mistake because no matter what you do and no matter how good of a striker you are, you're gonna come across this mistake. Every good striker makes this mistake because just like Thierry Henry said, you won't be getting fed all the time. But there is one piece of advice that, that, that Arsene Wenger gave me when I was playing for Arsenal and, and, and always stayed with me. What can you do when your team is not feeding you? When you're not getting fed by your teammate, especially if you're playing a lone striker, you're not gonna be getting fed and you're gonna be very frustrated. Because playing striker, it seems like physically is the least demanding position. You don't have to run as much, you don't have to put as much pressure as your central midfielder or attacking midfielder or defensive midfielder or even your wingers. But you need to learn to play with patience. If you are an impatient striker, now you get yourself into positions where you shouldn't even be because you just want to touch the ball sometimes. And as a striker, it's sometimes very hard to touch the ball because you will have a constant pressure behind you where you'll have sometimes fullback, where you'll have sometimes two center backs right behind you. And it's going to be very challenging for you to receive the ball or for your teammates to find you to pass the ball to. So now, because you're impatient and because you're bored, you're not touching the ball, you get yourself into spaces where you're not supposed to get yourself into. Where you get yourself into spaces that you just want to get the ball and touch the ball, right? So this is exactly when you will need to be patient and learn where can you be to be more effective as a striker. And this mistakes only happens when you get very bored and very frustrated. Just like Thierry Henry said, your team is not always gonna be feeding you. And a good striker shows their talent when they're exactly not fed. Because this is when you need to be patient and you need to be shoving into spaces where you create space for your teammate so you get yourself into a space afterwards to receive the ball and score goals. And in my opinion, this is one of the reasons where Kylian Mbappe is not gonna be as successful as you think he's gonna be when he's playing for Real Madrid. Kylian Mbappe loves to have the ball on the wide side of the field, right? Where he can have the ball, keep the ball a little longer, dribble, run with the ball in the dangerous territories, cut inside and shoot. That's what he did for France or PSG. But now, when he's playing for Real Madrid, he's playing a lone striker, where he has Vinicius Jr. on one side, Rodrigo on the other side, and he can't really go into the spaces where it's occupied by Vinicius Jr. or Rodrigo. So now, he can't receive the balls as a striker when he's playing for Real Madrid. Because usually, striker is the position where you have the pressure by the strongest opposition, center backs, physically the most strongest players on the pitch. So this is exactly why when I watch Kylian Mbappe playing for Real Madrid, 
he's struggling with it and he's getting more impatient coming into spaces where he's not really supposed to come just to receive the ball and yes now we're probably gonna compare Cristiano Ronaldo playing striker for Real Madrid but when Cristiano Ronaldo or Karim Benzema played for Real Madrid they didn't have the guys like Vinicius Jr really wide or Rodrigo really wide so if those spaces are not occupied by players like Vinicius Jr or Rodrigo yes the striker in that case Cristiano Ronaldo and Karim Benzema could throw themselves into these wide positions where they can receive the ball, cut inside and actually create opportunities. And this is exactly when you need to be very patient if you're playing a lone striker. If you maybe don't have as high wingers like Vinicius Jr. or Rodrigo, you can yes throw yourself into these zones where you can go to the left, you can go to the right to receive the ball, cut inside and maybe try to shoot. But if you have wide strikers, now you're gonna need to be really patient to actually put yourself into these zones to actually score. If you're playing a lone striker, you're gonna need to be patient to actually get yourself into these zones and you can release it, turn back and go into 18 to get the, receive the ball from your teammates to actually score. But if you actually release it right away to your wingers, right away to your attacking midfielders, and now they quickly transition to go to the 18, now you can't do this. You're not gonna have time to turn around and catch them before they get into 18. Because your goal is to get in, release the ball and get into 18 before your wingers or attacking midfielders can get into 18 with the ball. So what a smart striker does is to play it to their central midfielder instead of playing it back to their attacking midfielder. So the central midfielder will be delaying the game to push the play into the 18 slower than the attacking midfielder but attacking midfielder wants to and likes to see more direct passes so please don't make this mistake and please be patient when it comes to playing this position and don't get frustrated if you're not getting the ball because this is a common problem to play the striker position alone and just watch players like Thierry Henry, Erling Haaland where they do this incredibly well they know who to release the ball and when to make the turn without the ball to get into the 18 to find the opportunity to score the goals. And if you watch the last game Erling Haaland played where he scored three goals, he barely touched the ball. He, if you watch the game, he almost never touches the ball. But when he touches, it's a very short period where he releases it really quick and gets back into 18, receives the ball and finishes or makes the run in behind the defender without the ball to receive the ball for true balls. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, subscribe to my channel with the notifications on. You can also find my playlist right over here. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.